Hey y'all, how was everybody today, this evening? I hope everybody's alright. Y'all, I just came because I wanted to talk for a little bit. Um, I haven't been on to share very much, but I wanted to come on and I'm hoping this don't be a long video, but y'all know when things are heavy on my heart and on my mind and when I'm going through it, they get long. I want to talk to you guys about growth. When I say growth, I mean um, the learning process about life. And oh, I'm yawning already, and all that old good stuff. You know, for the last, I say, month. I have met some really, really outstanding women. Um, very encouraging, very uplifting. <laughs> and it's like at a point in my life, I met them because of th something that I was going through and something that I spoke on that they needed to hear. And in turn, they have God have used them to support me. Um, I have this one sister that I talk to, um, and she just oh, 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 really, really encourages me. And, um, y'all, I cannot tell y'all how hard the last four or five days has been. Um, I have gone through an awful lot, um, health wise, family wise, spiritual, emotional, mental, all of that old jazz. And, um, I had been sick for a couple of days and I'm still, I'm not as bad as I was. I still don't know what the problem is. Um, I tried to go to the doctor this morning. They didn't have any openings. Um, so I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> y'all, without y'all like that, my iron is low. But, um, so I'm just trying to find my way right now. And I said the topic was going to be about growth. Growth um, can mean a lot of different things. I mean, growth in um, what you learn, what you experience. Because whatever you learn, whatever you go through, the things that you're taught, um, there's no way you can let that go. If somebody hurts your feelings, you don't ever forget it. You may forgive them, but you don't ever forget it. If you're in school, the things that you learn you retain it you hold on to it so when I say growth you have experienced some things you have learned some things you have returned some things retained some things you're not the way you used to be that's growth um, so I have learned some things I'm still learning um, I have not always even Try to put forth an effort to um to even try and what am I trying to say? I've always been in touch with my feelings. Um, I've always cared about people, but now the older I get, the more things I go through, I realize, you know. The things that you say in life, the things that you do, you will experience those things. So I look back at times when, say for instance, if somebody called called my house and I didn't want to be bothered, I didn't answer the phone. Okay, you stop and think about it. Sometimes that you might need to talk to somebody and you call them and they don't answer the phone. Same thing you do. Whatever you do to somebody is what gets done to you. When you gossip about somebody, somebody going to talk about you at some point in life. You know, and 
you know, you could be that kind of person that don't gossip about anybody and you still could get it, you know? So it's, it's not, sometimes we go through things and it just hurts so bad that we never feel like we're going to come out of it or feel like anything good is going to come out of it. Um, I've, one of my sisters, she just, she was there for me today. Um, and it's just to hear somebody say, God has a plan for you. There's no way you can speak positive and try and encourage and uplift so many people and God not have something special for you. And I needed to hear that. And it's not that I constantly need a confirmation from anybody. Because those of you that know me know I have had problems with my self-esteem. Problems with my confidence. Whether, um, problems with me. Believing in myself. But as I get older, as I learn, as I grow, um, it's a slow pace. But I'm getting there. Um, trust and believe. I know who God is. I know that he is my Lord and Savior. He, he created me. And I sometimes, let me ask you a question. Sometimes y'all, when you, when you have trials and tribulations, when you're going through your storm or your season, I always felt like it was just me. But it's like, when my blocks get stacked on top of each other, it's not just one or two levels. It's like they go 10 high all the way up until they start to lean. And they so heavy to the point where it's like you're trying to hold that wall up. But the more you push back, the harder it gets until you just fall. And when I say you just fall, you fall to your knees. You fall to your bed and you just cry and you call on the name of God. You call on the name of Jesus. God, help me. Lord Jesus, save me. Help me. Give me some relief. Give me some peace. Give me an answer. Something. Everybody's struggle is not the same. But trust and believe we all go through something in life. Um, some women have been hurt by a significant other. Some people may have been abused. Some people may have been put up for adoption. Some people may have just been left, period. Some people have had to do nothing but struggle all their life. But trust this. If God continued to let you live... In spite of. Oh excuse me y'all. I know it's wrong. But I, I can't control it. If he created life. And all the things that you're going through in life. Even if it don't feel like it. We have to stop and remember that. His word says. That he shall. He shall. Provide all of our needs. According to his riches. Okay, we work 12, 24, 8, 10, $9 an hour, whatever it may be. And sometimes it seems like it's not enough. And even though we know that it's not enough, don't you think God knows that it's not enough? But yet, the human side of me. Now, I don't know about nobody else, but at one point in my life, I always had it to the point where when my ends didn't meet, I knew I could call on my granny. I could call on my mama. I could call on a good friend. Say, look, I need um, a few dollars until, you know, I get paid. My ends not meeting. Can you help me out? It's not like that no more. And it's not like that for a reason. Because when we get comfortable and we continue to give other people the praise, we continue to, oh, thank you so much. You know, we constantly lean on other people instead of leaning on God. He will tie us up. 
He will tie us up and he will sit on us. Make us sit and wait to the point where we like, Lord, please help me. When you're when you can't even think of a scenario, you can't think of a person, an outlet, a nine one one, a two one one, a four one one, nothing to help you in your situation. When it get like that, you know, you must know, you must trust and believe. Okay, God, I have no answer. Mom. Tell Janae to pop it for him. Um, you have to know that God is working in our favor. It may not feel like it. And it may seem like it takes forever. But he is not. He, he didn't create us for us to not trust him. I mean, just like our children. Our children lean up. They lean on us for everything. You think of a baby. You think that baby is scared when you pick him up? No. He knows and he can feel that you just, you're going to always have his back. You got him. He's going to be comfortable. He get up there. He lay down and go to sleep. Whatever. <laughs> and that's how we should be in God's word. I'm learning this, y'all. I haven't, I haven't grasped the concept totally. But I have a start. I have a start and I have to confess with my mouth, devil, get out of my way. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died so that I could have the victory over you and all the things that you tried, to, all of your weapons that you try to throw at me. My remedy, my Savior, my help, my comfort, my peace is all in the name of Jesus. And I do sometimes. I get weak and I get weary to the point where I can't even say anything to encourage my own self, let alone encourage somebody else. But joy come in the morning. And I don't mean when the sun rises. You just hold on just a little while longer. He's going to send you the word to help to show you that I'm still here. And, you know, I go through sometimes, y'all, and I be like, Lord, please help me out of this. What is it? What am I doing wrong? What have I done wrong? And there's no answer. When there's no answer, I have to just sit and wait on him. So, I have to continue to be me. Continue to strive to be better. Continue to strive to be comfort. To be a blessing to somebody. Y'all, I have not worked in three years. And I've had my children to come to me and say, Mama, have you even stopped and paid attention to the fact that things are a whole lot better in our life since you stopped working? Sometimes it has to come from the mouth of babes to help you to see how God works. No matter what the circumstances are, he can still work things out. We want ends to always meet. We want the honey and the milk to always flow. But if we always are prosperous, how will we recognize and be able to speak and to be able to minister to somebody else if we don't know the difference between the good and the bad? Trust and believe. I don't like the bad at all. But the good is everlasting. e boys and baby. Your message that you sent to me. You want me to be happy. You want me to be prosperous. And you love me. I love you too. So I speak to my mountains. Mountains move out of my way. In Jesus name. My Lord and Savior says what? He will make my enemies my footstool. He says what? That he shall supply all of my needs according to his riches. And I know if he's got. There's infinite amount. I'm not just talking about monetary things either. I'm not talking about physical things either. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about mercy. I'm talking about grace. I'm talking about comfort. 
forgiveness, strength, courage, determination, wisdom, salvation, all of that. He is all of that. He shall supply all of that. We just have to ask. We have to seek him first. We have to seek his face. And I know I got to get better at that. So if there's anybody out there who understands my struggle and can identify, I am not holier than thou. But I do believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I do believe that there is a God. And that his son name is Jesus. And that his son Jesus died for me. He died for you. He took all the pain. All the ridicule. All everything. The loss of life. The n people not believing in him. Because even after all of that. He knew that one day he had to lay down his life. And he did it on the cross. Just for me. And before he departed this earth, he continued to pray for those <laughs> that hurt him. He continued to ask for forgiveness. And we can do the same. I love you guys. All of my new subscribers, I welcome you to my channel. Um... I'm not perfect, just like no one else is. I have my weekdays. I have my days where I want to cuss, fuss, and slap somebody. I have my days where I'm just filled with the Holy Spirit. But on those weekdays, I also need encouragement. On those weekdays, I have to remember, God didn't bring me this far to leave me now. On those weekdays, I have to remember that He created me and that He know everything about me. I'm still learning. I still have my struggles. I have my hard times. My ends don't always meet, just like some other people. I have some things that are on my heart that I want to do for my women's ministry, and I'm not talking about in my church. I have a women's ministry that I would like to create. And um, some of my sisters already know about it, but until I can put it in motion and I've already started but it's not completed um, you know anything in life takes money and I'm trusting and believing for God to do that because there's so many things I want to do for my sisters in this world and I'm not just talking about sisters as in blood sisters I'm talking about women period because we all need support we all need comfort we all need to be uplifted we all need to be congratulated on a job well done and whatever it may be and that is what I want to provide so to all of you my new subscribers my old subscribers I thank y'all for coming and joining me um, I'm just little old me my name is Teresa Moore Richardson and I approve this message and I thank y'all for watching. I thank y'all for your time because it's precious and you gave me a blessing by coming and sharing with me I love you all to pieces. I send y'all love. I send y'all peace. And I send y'all blue duchess hat grease. Bye, sugar.